What's up guys? Jonathan here and we're gonna be doing another tutorial and I'm gonna be showing you some more gaming. Uh, for this game, this is going to be a MMORPG based game, uh, which is free to roam though. So it's gonna be kind of, I guess, in the same text that, uh, I guess you'd call it like an 8-bit World of Warcraft maybe? Uh, I'm not too sure. I've never really gotten into the whole World of Warcraft life. So it could be a little bit different from that. So, as you're going to see right here, what we have going on, this is mana. Uh, mana mana Plus, as you can see on the very top, it's a very basic, basic, basic game. Um, you're going to go ahead and, you know, you just kind of walk around, you upgrade your character, you know, you pick up items, and it's a f completely free base. But the cool thing is, as you can see, this guy, this guy is actually real-time playing with me. Um, I have no idea who he is, I've never played this game, I literally just jumped into it, and let alone there's somebody that jumped in with me. Uh, so they are based on servers. Uh, the only servers I think I saw was this one. I think is an American-based server. Could be UK-based. Could be European-based. I saw Portuguese, Brazil. Uh, or sorry, Portugal, Brazil. Um, even though they speak the same language. And uh, you know, it's really, really, you know, it's very simple to download. Very easy to download. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off in the beginning. Is you can just I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. And I will open up. So what we're going to need to do, I'll put the link in the description for this exact website, is you're just going to come in here and you're going to click this button right here. And this is going to download a deb. Uh, once that deb's downloaded, it's a very small package. I think it's about 4 megabytes, 5 megabytes, maybe even 20 megabytes. I'm not even sure, but it should only take a second to download. Uh, once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and click it. It should open up either in your software center or your um, Synaptic package manager, depending on what you have installed. Uh, I recommend the software center for most people because it's very, you know, UI friendly, easy to understand. It looks like your typical application manager, or sorry, your application store. And so once you have that installed, you're going to again click that. It's going to open up whatever you want. You're going to press the install. You're going to need to type in your password. That should only take about a minute tops. Uh, then you're going to come in here and you're going to need to type in these two codes. Uh, you're going to press these, or sorry, these two commands. These are going to actually come inside the terminal. So all you need to do is open up your your terminal, however you have it installed. And just each one, you're going to go ahead and either copy and paste or type them. So first is going to be the sudo app get update, which is updating your source list, letting it know that you just installed a deb app source. So your, your Ubuntu Linux distribution understands that, you know, it's not just the the source list that it had before that you've actually upgraded it with a new a new source and then you're going to have to install mana plus mana plus is going to be about i think it was 600 megabytes somewhere in that vicinity 700 megabytes and uh, you know so it's going to take depending on your internet connection everybody's going to be a little bit different it took me personally i think about 10 minutes and i'm on and currently where i am making this video is on a very very slow internet connection i think i'm on a top three gigabytes up or download speed which you know that means i'm only topping out at probably two maybe two and a half if i'm very lucky and nobody else happens to be on the internet so once you have that all installed you're just going to go ahead and then it's going to you're going to find it in your game section and you're going to see right there mana plus now with what i want to kind of give as a point of advice to people is when you first open it up I'm gonna see if I can get it to do what it did before okay it didn't so when I first opened it up there was a lot of glitchy looking things going on arrows flying everywhere and what's happening is I think it's just back installing some stuff so when you first open up the mana plus don't be alarmed if you just see it flashing and closing the window opening the window closing the window opening window this little icon down here opened and closed like it disappeared and reappeared probably about 20 times before the game works i thought it was broken at first but i kind of let it just do its thing uh, i was just really patient with it. it took about five minutes and then i got popped up with this screen and these are going to be the different servers now you can always add servers and i'm sure you can find servers by going on the google and just searching for servers but we're just going to stick with the mana world up here since this is the main one when i clicked connect last time it's going to come up with this exactly so you're going to need to go create a uh, an account real quick so to create an account it's just gonna you can click that register button that you just saw and you're gonna come up with this screen right here so just type in the username you want the password you want for the passwords you cannot use any uh, alternate characters as you see so that's the pound sign dollar sign at sign and sign all that you have to use straight characters which is gonna be numbers and letters uh, your email address make sure that uh, with the gender if you see I can't even click it 
so what I have to see every time I click I don't know if you can tell but it's nothing's happening so you kind of just got to make sure the box is around it and either press M for male or F for female and that's how you're gonna get that taken care of for you uh, once you have that you're just gonna click register after you type in your you know your catch command down here and you're gonna get an email saying it's you know it's registered you don't even have to click a, a link to confirm your registration it'll just be registered so it only should take a second and once you have that you can just come in here type it in so let me see if I can get see if we can get this here and this is going to be what takes a little bit of time so the first time through out of these 74 that you're seeing on the bottom right here it took oh now we're up to 80 yeah it should be 80 that was how much it was the first time it actually took about 10 minutes again and I, that's just getting all the graphics and you know rendering and updating all the server that you're on right now and once it is at 80 you know you don't just sit here like I just was you just go ahead and press the play button and there you go and you're gonna get an option right away I already have a character created uh, you're just gonna come in here and it's gonna ask you, you know to change the hair the color uh, male, you know, since, you're, uh, since I'm a male, you do that. You also will give yourself a name, and you will have to give yourself attributes such as strength, stamina, luck, all that type of stuff. What you typically would see in an MMORPG. And then once you have that, just make sure you click your character, click play.